Timers are used in several applications to turn an output on or off after a set period. In Studio 5000, timers are a fundamental part of PLC programming and use the timer data type, a predefined structure containing all timer elements. Timers are classified according to their operating modes as follows TON on delay timer, TOF off delay timer, and RTO retentive timer on. These timer instructions are under the timer counter category in the Studio 5000 instruction toolbar. Timers have bits and parameters that include preset time, PRE. This is the time or value the timer must accumulate to reach the desired time delay. The time base is 1 millisecond, meaning 1000 will be 1 second. Accumulator, ACC. This is the value the timer has time so far after it has been enabled. Enable bit, E, N. This indicates the timer has been enabled. It will go high or turn on when the input controlling is true and stays true. Timing bit, TT. This indicates that the timer is timing and will turn off once it reaches its preset value. Done bit, DN. This indicates that the timer is done timing. This is achieved by the accumulated value equaling the preset value. In Studio 5000, you can address these timer elements using dot notation, such as timer.dn to access the done bit. It's important to note that Studio 5000 timers have a resolution of 1 millisecond, meaning the smallest time increment they can measure is 1 millisecond. With a 32-bit timer, the maximum time that can be measured is about 24 days. The TON timer is the most commonly used timer on automated machines. It is a programming instruction used to delay an application or process for a certain amount of time. When the run condition is set to true, the timer starts timing. The timer will keep timing as long as the input signal is high or true. The timer instruction will be executed when the input turns on and activate the mechanism after the set delay. For example, this can be used to delay the start of a conveyor. The timing bit, TT here can be used to signal a horn and let technicians know that the conveyor belt is starting. After the accumulated value, ACC, equals the preset value, PRE, the done bit, DN, will go high and turn on the conveyor. The TOF timer is a programming instruction used to switch off the output or application after a certain amount of time. When the input turns on, the done bit, DN, immediately goes true and therefore, the output turns on at the same time as the input. If the input goes low or turns off, the timing process starts, and the output will turn off when the timer reaches the set time. The RTO or TONR timer TONR is used in structured text programming, is like the TON instruction, with a difference. The RTO will retain its current value until it is energized again or forced to reset. It is an instruction that begins timing when the input turns on. If the input turns off, the elapsed time is retained. The timer resumes timing from the retained time value when the input turns on again. When the time reaches the set time, the timer stops timing, and the done bit, DN, turns on. This type of timer would allow a particular mechanism, for example, a valve, to only function for a certain duration even though it is stopped in between. Another scenario it can be used is when there's an interruption in a system, like a power loss. Remember, the time pauses if the input is turned off before the countdown is finished. When the input is turned on again, the timer continues timing down from where the time was paused. It's worth noting that in Studio 5000, timers are evaluated on every scan of the PLC, regardless of whether the rung they're on is true or false. This, combined with factors like scan time, can impact the accuracy of timer-based operations. 
For critical timing applications, it's essential to consider these factors. The TON, TOF, and RTO timers are instructions in programming PLC. They are commands that we give to machines' processes to perform certain tasks. For an operation, you can use multiple instructions or, in this case, various timers if necessary. When designing more complex systems, it's important to consider how timers behave in different task types, continuous, periodic, event, within Studio 5000.